Next Saturday's aptly named Fight Night. The show must go on. Uh, Parker versus Far undercard fight becoming the main event. Sky Sport will be featuring the fight between David Light and Mosir Amatangi, and it's predicted to be a humdinger. Here's Anna. Next Saturday, the undefeated David Light will step into the ring with Mossi Awi Matangi to fight for the Oriental Cruiserweight title. David, the Great White Light! Dubbed the Great White for a few different reasons. Great White Light, you know, it kind of works in two ways. There's a shark and it's like the light you see before you die or something. How do you feel about Great White Sharks just in general? Uh, they're terrifying. So it's, uh, I guess it's a good ring name. <laughs> Last month, David dusted off the gloves and fought for the first time in over a year. Clearly, the time off only made him more geared up, knocking out Lance Bryant in 60 seconds. Only a minute long, but you know, all the preparation and stuff and just getting in the ring and dealing with the nerves and stuff. And um, I think I proved that, you know, with all the ring rust of what's happened this year, that I still got it. So uh, it did a lot of good for me. One thing that caught me off guard was David's walkout song. Not your usual hype-up genre. Yeah, he likes this one, doesn't he? Has it ever thrown off your opponent a little bit? Because, you know, they probably walk out to some, you know, I guess, I don't know, like rap song or some real, like, I guess, traditional hype song, and then you come out in that. Do you reckon they're just like, what? Who is this person? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that could explain a few of my knockouts, but I'm not too sure. I didn't ever thought to ask them. And by the looks of it, David's got a solid squad from the Peach Boxing Gym. People get pretty egotistical in this line of like combat sports and stuff. It's all about them. And yeah, they say it is a lonely sport, but all the preparation is done in the ring and you need the mates and you need the sparring partners and you need a good vibe. I think City Kickboxing's proved it and we're proving it because, you know, it's not just by chance that we've got like three of the best boxers in the country in this gym. Let's hope this shark gets fed soon. Anna Wilcox, Krakow's Wild. <laughs>